be on top. And for dorsiflexion, you're going to be on the bottom. Again, without touching the patient. Hmm? Without this touching the patient? Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, so I'm going to use my Igoni, and again, remember, it's not the bottom of the foot, it's the first metatarsal, and then the first phalange, because that's the joint we're measuring. Okay, so I'm going to move these into plantar flexion. So I've got one here and one here, and this was zero. So what does that look like? 20, 30. No, remember, this is 90, this is zero. What are we at? Yeah. About 40. I'd say closer to 30. So I'm going to preset this at 30. Now my fulcrum is going to be directly in line with the joint. My stationary arm is going to be parallel to the first metatarsal. And then my moving arm is going to be parallel to the first phalange. Which I think we got it. That's 30. You're good. You're good. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to do dorsiflexion, aka flexion. Okay, so again, we're going to line this up parallel. We're going to use our Igoni first. Now, normal is 90, and I think she's got just about that. So this time, my numbers. If you notice, there's more than one set of numbers, so you just have to make sure you're looking at the right one. So always think first, like, okay, what's going to be a normal range? So if you're like, oh, well, it's going to be somewhere between 0 and 90, you're not writing 150. Mm -hmm. That wouldn't make any sense, okay? If you're getting the numbers on here confused. Okay, so parallel to the first met head, and then I'm going to have this right at the joint line. The fulcrum, and then we got here, and yeah, we're at 90. Wow. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. Okay, not everyone's going to have 90, but 90 is normal. 